Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk apologizes for partner Reza Adebes attendance at Brisbane Olympics meeting Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has apologized for her partner Reza Adebes attendance at the first face-to-face -face meeting between Brisbane Olympic organizers and senior members of the International Olympic Committee, IOC. Ms. Palaszczuk said she was invited down to Sydney for John Coates' farewell on Saturday night but she admitted Dr. Adib should not have attended the meeting on Sunday. The meeting took place at a hotel in Sydney on Sunday, and included attendees like IOC President Thomas Bach, outgoing Australian Olympic Committee, AOC, President John Coates and Brisbane Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner. Dr. Adib, a surgeon, sat in on the meeting at a boardroom table and posed for official photographs. Ms. Palaszczuk had insisted the meeting was an informal catch-up, when asked yesterday, and today apologized for his inclusion. I appreciate that there have been views expressed about this catch-up, she said. I recognize that I have made a mistake, and I should not have taken my partner to that meeting. I apologize. It was never intentional to cause any distress to anybody and like I said it was an informal catch-up. It was an informal catch-up Brisbane will be hosting the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games with work underway to plan for the Games. Ms. Palaszczuk said she was invited down to Sydney for John Coates's farewell on Saturday night but she admitted Dr. Adib should not have attended the meeting on Sunday. It was basically that we were all in town there. We got together on a Sunday, and I made a mistake, so I am sorry, she said. It was an informal catch-up. I'll all tell you what I talked about at the meeting. I talked about things that I've a talked about publicly like the International Broadcast Center. The transformational aspects of that and how we have secured the land. I talked about how the OCOG board had its first meeting and the Cross River Rail project. Ms. Palaszczuk confirmed Dr. Adebes' trip was not paid for by taxpayers but they did stay in the same hotel room. I am very lucky and very blessed to have someone that supports my role, it is a big role to run this state, she said. My partner will be coming with me to different functions but he will not be coming to any meetings or catch-ups. Olympians and politicians, including Federal Sport Minister Richard Colbeck, were at the farewell on Saturday night. But Ms. Palaszczuk said it was her understanding Senator Kolbeck had a private meeting and was not in attendance for the Sunday informal catch-up. In hindsight I should have just had a private meeting, she said. Deputy Opposition Leader Gerard Blige said the incident showed a lack of judgment from Ms. Palaszczuk. Yesterday I said it was weird, today it is just bizarre, he said. It was no informal gathering, there were agendas. It was a formal setting. It shows a total lack of judgment from the Premier. Brisbane Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner refused to comment on the matter when asked on ABC Radio Brisbane this morning. Look I don't want to buy into this at all, he said. The important thing is we re-gearing up for the 2032 Olympics, lots of meetings are happening, lots of in-person engagements are happening. Apology comes ahead of important week. The apology came as executives from the IOC were in Queensland this week touring the southeast with Mr. Bark arriving on the weekend. Read more Ms. Palaszczuk said she would be personally showing members around Brisbane for the first time since the state was awarded the 2032 Olympics. We have to show the senior executives of the International Olympic Committee what Queensland has to offer, Ms. Palaszczuk said. That is why this week is so important. That is why tomorrow I am personally going to be showing these members around our wonderful venue, and wonderful state. I really want to have a wonderful warm welcome for President Bark and his wife when they arrive here on Saturday. Posted four hours ago, updated one hour ago.